Suppose this is you. Would you believe us if we told you you could build your own house saving a lot of money because you only need a couple of friends, a free weekend, and a manual? You don't have to, because we did it. This is the eCube, an affordable and energy efficient house. We designed it with a group of more than 40 talented architecture and engineering students of Ghent University. With this Belgian team, we participated in the Solar Decathlon competition in 2011 in Washington, DC. In this competition, universities from all over the world are challenged to design and build energy efficient houses powered by the sun. With this, um, out of 20 finalists, we won the first prize in affordability. In this video, you can see how the E-Cube was constructed. And the E-Cube was designed as a modular, do-it-yourself building kit. To prove the do-it-yourself concept, the house was constructed from scratch only by students. The E in E-Cube stands for energy efficient, a well-insulated, airtight, and well-oriented house. Cube stands for the form of the building, a very compact and efficient volume. The E-Cube is a modular building system. That means that many possible, com that many possible, the E-Cube is a modular building system. That means many combinations are possible. The E-Cube consists out of building components, as can be seen in the video, that are interchangeable and modular. That means you can change the facade of the building by uh, changing the position of windows and doors. The building components, like floor elements, wall elements, and structural elements, are joined in a plug and play fashion. We believe the most important aspect of the E-Cube is the scale of those building components. When we look at traditional construction methods, they usually use very small building components, where prefab building systems use very large components, like entire rooms, or complete housing units. We believe there is an interesting scale in between that has a lot of advantage, advantages just because it doesn't go into extremities of size. In the following graphs, we'll try to explain the scale and also the main prin principles of our E-Cube. Suppose you just started working and you want a place of your own. You're like the most of us and you have to work hard to earn some money. Designing the E-Cube we have tried to reduce costs of materials and labor. In the following equations, uh, we have the scale of building components on the horizontal axis. First, we will look at the cost of materials when building one personalized house. When we look at mass production, when you build with small building components, for example, bricks, mass production is high because obviously you need a lot of them. When you build one house with very large building components like housing units, you only need a couple, and that means mass production is low. When we look at the level of prefabrication, you can see that the level of prefabrication is low on the left when you build with bricks, because all of the work happens on the construction side, and the level of prefabrication is high when you build with very large building components, because a lot of the work is prepared in factory conditions. On the other hand, we also have labor costs. For example, we already mentioned do it yourself, and by building your own house yourself, you can save a lot of money. Um, the weight and dimensions of the building components are very important. For example, when you build a house with bricks, um, they are very easy to handle, where when you um, use a prefab building system, the scale is very big. So it's important for us that the weight and dimensions of the building volume um, components of the E-Cube are very easy, easy to use. But on the other hand, you also have the skill level. Like for a brick building, the building components are very small, but the skill level is very high because you need to be able to uh, lay bricks, do carpentry, or use special machines. Where in prefab building systems, all this high skill level uh, work has been done in the factory, and you only have to assemble the house on site. So, when we look at the previous diagram, the cost of the materials is optimized in the middle, plus the, the scale of the building um, components 
is at a scale that do-it-yourself is possible. For example, the largest, the largest components of the E-Cube uh, can be manipulated by maximum four people. That means they can be carried and installed by four persons. Only for the lifting of the upper insulating walls and windows, a small human-powered crane in it. As you can see, a process that needs to be optimized. For the record, in Washington DC, we constructed the E-Cube, wind and water tight, in less than 24 hours with only 10 students. To help even the most inexperienced builder, we designed a manual um, with clear instructions. And in this manual, uh, you find what building components and which tools are needed and how to construct the house. It's like building uh, a large piece of furniture. Back to you. Suppose you meet someone and the family grows. Or you start a new business and you need more space. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if you could just change the internal layout of your house or even expand your house without a lot of effort? Well, the E-Cube is designed also for this purpose. Without a lot of um, difficulty, you can change all these things because of the scale of the building components. So the house is adaptable in time. When we look, for example, at the uh, brick buildings, these are not so adaptable because you need a lot of effort and you create a lot of dust when you want to change something internally or build something at, uh, extra to it. On the other side, we have the prefab building system where all things are very rigid and there is a limited uh, number of possibilities to change your house. When you start first, so the adaptability was something in time, Flexibility is when you start building or designing your house with bricks. The, the, the ways of possibilities is endless because there's such, such a small scale. But on the, on the right side, the prefab building system is something that's almost already done for you. So also the, there is a limited number of possible designs. And this is convenient. All these lines seem to cross in the same point, proving it's all about balance and finding an ideal combination. For example, if we would have uh, focused on flexibility, we would, have, we would have lost a lot of other advantages. When we look at the E-Cube's interior, you'll see the use of materials is minimized. There are no unnecessary finishes, and uh, all the building components have multiple functions. For example, the structural system, which is a pallet tracking system, also serves as the divider of technical wiring. And the interior, the interior side of the uh, insulating panels immediately is the interior finish. It is easy to imagine you can change the internal layout of the house by adding or removing uh, walls or floor partitions, or you can even make the house bigger by adding one or more structural elements. Important is the fact that all E-Cube components are reusable. And this lowers future costs when adaptation of the house or the construction is needed. Now, let us wrap all this together in four big conclusions. First thing, the E-Cube is affordable. Because the material costs and the energy consumptions are low, plus the extra possibility of do-it-yourself exists. The second thing is that the E-Cube has a flexible building design, so it can serve many purposes. Third is the E-Cube is adaptable in time, so it can evolve with its users. And the last thing is that the building components can be reused, which minimizes the use of new raw materials. In conclusion, because we found a balance between those parameters, instead of excelling in one of them, we think the E-Cube is a true durable solution. Thank you. Thank you.